Cool. For our presentation, uh, our group will present the Australia and New Zealand wine. Uh, I'm gonna introduce our uh, the group members. My name is Fernando Ronaldi. I'm Talista. I'm Casey. I'm Kayla. I'm Elizabeth. And here's our video. Enjoy. Now I'm going to present a little bit about the history of wine in Australia. First, at the year 1788, the first wine was brought from the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, in Africa, and then they were brought to Australia because of the uh, English colonization. And then from then on, they, they start to grow more fine. But at that year, uh, the technology is not developed yet, so basically all, all the fine was devastated. And moving on to the year 18, hundreds, John MacArthur produced the first commercial wine. Because, uh, he is the man that first uh, produced the, uh, the wine commercially and then from then on the wine production in Australia started to flourish. And then to the year 1820s, uh, it's becoming more flourishing. And yeah, and then in 1833, a man named James Mosby bring, brings more grape variety, like the noble grape style, which is uh, the important grapes like Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, like the noble grapes. Because at the at the previous years, they they didn't use the noble grape style. And then at 1870. Australian wine start to gain reputation. Uh, they won several awards, and like the at that time, the uh, wine experts didn't believe that the wine is from Australia. They thought it's from the country, uh, old old world country like France. But uh, because of the phylloxera attack, uh, attacking the wine at the old world country. Later goes to Australia at 1875, and the wine, the wine production at the time goes down until one, at least one one century later, at 1960, and they start to regain reputation. From 45 wine, they produce table wine. Today, today the overproduction of wine is the problem is in Australia, so they try to fight it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about the history of wine in New Zealand. For the uh, first, uh, way back from 1819, the first one planted by missionary Samuel Marsden, uh, he's from Kareen Kareen, and from 1836, the wine producer first recorded is by James Busby from Waipangi, uh, Bay of Island, in 1895, Positive assessment of New Zealand's wine making uh, report uh, is made by reporter by Romeo Bragato. And in 1968, the New Zealand Grape Grower Council established. And fast forward to 1975, Wine Institute of New Zealand was established. And in 1981, uh, Wine Makers Act uh, was established, which is provision established for licensing, wine making, and wine export uh, certification. And in 1986, the government subsidized uh, wine uh, pool of 1,515 of hectare, replanted with Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay Sauvignon, and Merlot and Pinot Noir. Export exceed 1 million uh, liters. And then fast forward to 2009, uh, export increase in 24% to 992 million New Zealand. And uh, this is a, bit, a little bit facts of about New Zealand. New Zealand extends on, uh, 1,600 kilometers from subtropical Northland to the world's most southerly great growing region center of Otago. Uh, barriers benefits from the moderating effect of the mar maritime climate, which is no vineyard is more than 120 kilometers or 80 miles from the ocean with long sunshine hours and night pool by sea breeze. New Zealand has just uh, over 4 million uh, people with a country 10% larger than UK and Northern Ireland, 
which is 275,000 square kilometers. New Zealand produces less than 1% of the world's wine. It was Sauvignon Blanc that put New Zealand on the wine map, so it's uh, clearly that Sauvignon Blanc is the specialty of the New Zealand. Uh, this is uh, the one region in New Zealand and the great priority. So New Zealand have two main islands, which is North Island and South Island. In North Island, they ha uh, we have Northland, Auckland, Waikato, Eastbourne, Hawke's Bay, and Martinboro and Wairarapa. And their speciality for Northland, they have Cabernet Sauvignon uh, and Merlot for their red, uh, for their red wine, and Chardonnay for the white grapes. And for Auckland, we have Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc for the red wine. And for Waikato, they have Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, from this one, we have Chardonnay. Okay, Hawks, Hawks Bay, they have uh, Chardonnay, Chabonnet, Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Shiraz, and Pinot Noir. And from Martin Boro, they have Pinot Noir, and Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay for the white grape. And in the South Island, uh, they have Marlboro, Nelson, Santa Bury, and Otago. And Marlboro, the specialty is Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Riesling, Pinot, Gr Pinot Gris, for the white grapes, and for the red grape, they have Pinot Noir. And from Nelson, they have uh, Chardonnay, Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Sauvignon, uh, Riesling for the white grapes, and Pinot Noir and Merlot for the red wine. And Santa Bury, they have Pinot, Pinot Noir for the red wine, and Chardonnay, Riesling, and Sauvignon Blanc for the white. And Otago, uh, they have Pinot Noir as the red, and Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and Riesling as the white. Uh, I'm going to talk about the, the climate and the soil in the New Zealand. The New Zealand fire thrive on many soil types, from heavy water retaining clay loams in Northland to dry stony stills of the Wairu Valley. While the range of the soil types is broad, soils are naturally more acidic and higher in soil organic error than any many countries. And the major varieties and styles, as I've mentioned before, Sauvignon Blanc is the most important grape with pungent aromas of tropical fruits, grass, and gooseberry. It is high in acid. Uh, Pinot Noir is the second most important with style in between uh, old and new world. Crisp and clean with typical across the fruits and earth. Uh, and then the classification system. Uh, one regions are called geographic uh, indicators or GIs, and 65% requirement for using GI vintage or variety label is required. And then, uh, as you can see, there's a diagram here from the New Zealand wine harvest. It's go back way from 1996. As you can see, it's increasing uh, until 2016. And then, uh, New Zealand wine grower. Uh, it is a national industry body that represents New Zealand's faulty culture, faulty culture, and wine making uh, and wine making sectors. Uh, It conducts research, promotion, marketing, and advocacy in the interest of New Zealand grape growers and winemakers, both domestically and international export markets. Winemakers and grape growers are automatically entitled to membership of New Zealand wine growers through payment of the levy, Levi's and grape and or wine sales required by law in Commodity Levy's Act, Act 1991 and the Wine Act 2003. And this is the uh, some of the famous wineries in New Zealand, and the, the first one is Saint Clair Family Estate, which is uh, from Marlboro. Branco Estate is from Marlboro also. Matawe Estate, Stonely Wines, Spy Valley, Matua Valley Wines, uh, Church Rock Wine, and Akarangi, which is uh, Martin Boro. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit of the. Total beer has tested uh, from the per region. This is based on the region, as you can see from the uh, from the, the from the graph, which is from 2015. 75% is from Marlboro, which is indicated that Marlboro is the biggest uh, exporter and harvester. 12% is from Hawkeye. 6% is from Gisborne. 3% from Central Otago. <coughs> With 2% is from Nelson and Waipara, 1% from Wairarapa, and below 
the lower upper sex Auckland, Central Bury, and Auckland. And based on the great priorities, uh, as you can see, Sauvignon Blanc is, uh, is the most popular from New Zealand. So they hold 69.2%. Uh, and then the second comes from uh, the second comes Chardonnay, which is 8.7%, 8, 8 uh, Pinot Noir with 8.3%, Pinot Gris 8.6.3%, Merlot 3%, and Riesling 1.5%. Next, we are going to talk about the my region of Australia. Firstly, we go to the New South Wales. New South Wales is the most popular stage contribute with the more than 27% of Australia wine. And more than 3 quarter of their contributions come from the big river zone. And for the viticulture, that adapting the sustainable viticulture system, which they are adapting regional practice to remit and integrate environmentally sustainable with that design. And the climate of New South Wales is mostly hot and dry, we can see from the picture. And for the southern parts are tender and cool temperate. And America, USA is the largest export country of New South Wales. Mostly of the wine of New South Wales are exported to the USA. Here are the region of the New South Wales. I'm going to talk about the Rimona and also the Hunter Valley. Next, I'm going to talk about the Riverina. As we can see from the picture, Riverina is the largest producing wine region in New South Wales. The climate there is mostly hot and dry, and the elevation are around 140 meters. Mostly the famous wine there is the fortified and dessert wine and the major grape variety are Chardonnay, Sabina, Shiraz, Cabernet, Chardonnay and the Bortoli, Parcella, Western Estate are the wine that are famous there. Wine. Next I am going to talk about the Hunter Valley. Hunter Valley is the oldest wine growing region of Australia. Why are first plant in the area in the early 1820 from cutting early by James Busby, the father of Australia wine. And mostly here produce the red and white wine. The major <coughs> grape use are Shiraz, Sardinia, Chardonnay and also Royal. Broker Wood and Vetsfordi are the example for the important wine yet. And the equipment here are hot and the elevation are around 75 to 250 meters. Second, I'm going to talk about the Victoria of Australia. It is the second smallest stage in Australia and is home to more region and individual winery than any other stage in Australia. It also has the greater diversity of regional and site climate which allow the production of high quality Chandonnay and Pinona, Severi Shira and the history of Wine of the and mostly the you know, wine famous here are sparkling wine, red wine, white wine, and also the dark wine. And from the picture, we can see that the Victoria, the climate of Victoria, are mostly temperate and full temperate. These temper, these climates are actually very suitable for the wine grapes, the growing of the wine grapes. And then instead of export the wine. Exporting wine grapes to other countries bring them more profit. From the report, we can see like wine. Every year, they export around 55 million liters of wine, and they earn about 182 million. And for exporting the wine grapes to other countries, they earn about 237 million. We can see the difference. And then next is the wine region of Victoria. I'm going to talk about the Yara Valley and also the region. <coughs> Yara Valley is the Australia's most accessible wine region. The climate there are cool and the elevation are around 50 to 400 meters. The 
Major Berkse and Shandone Pinona Kalmanesh Avenue and Surya. Costume Hill and the Water the Yara Mary are the most important in that day. Next, the uh, region. It is in the Northeast Victoria. For Rotogen, it is best known for its fortified wine, and the equipment there are hot, and the elevation is about 160 meters. Rotogen, Brown Muscat, and Muscagola are the famous wine they produce in the place, and Stator and Kiwi and Champagne is the famous vineyard of them. I am going to present about Western Australia wine region. First one. Um, before that, the characteristic of Western Australian wine regions are the first one is it is the largest of eight administrative zones in Australia, and then it's about thousand miles from east to west. It produces five percent of the um, world's wine population, and then uh, the contrast climate between southern part and the northern part. The northern part tends to be more hotter because it's the coastal part, while the southern part, uh, which is closer to the pole. So um, it, it is cooler, it is, refers to the maritime climate, which has a cold winter. Uh, different, than, different than the north, northern part, which has mild and not so cold winter. The Western uh, Australia wine uh, region is divided into three big groups, which are the first one is State Capital Group, which is consists of Sloan Valley, Perth Hills, and Peel. The second one is South Coast Group, which consists of Pemberton, Great Southern and Manjimum. And the third one is the Southern End of Geography Bay, which consists of Margaret River, Geography itself, and the Blackwood Valley. So the first one is Swan Valley. Swan Valley is the hottest one region in Australia. It refers to the hot Mediterranean, Mediterranean climate, which is a hot, dry, and harvest uh, season, and low in humidity and intense, long lasting summer and sunshine. So um, we can conclude that. If it's hot, then it is in the northern region of Western Australia. The second one is the harvesting season starts in January and usually it takes about two to three months until uh, uh, the harvesting season ends. And, and then the, it is the largest source of wine production in Western Australia. And then the grapes which the, this region produces are Verde Ho, uh, Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay, Shiraz, and Cabernet Sauvignon. The famous uh, wine from this region is Lancaster Old Fine Shiraz, and for the white wine is Sandal Ford Element Chardonnay. The second one is Perth Hills. Perth Hills itself has the diurnal temperature variation, which is the difference between the highest temperature of the day and the lowest temperature at night. This variation of temperature has significant impacts on grapes' uh, uh, ripening process, and the heat of the day promotes the sugar accumulation, while at while well, the cool time and night uh, temperature preserve the acidity and alcoholic level on the grape. And it, it is, uh, Perth Hills produces the best full bodied red uh, table wines and fortified wine because of the different uh, temperature with which uh, trapped the sugar and the alcohol at the same time. And then the harvesting season starts two to three weeks uh, different with uh, Swan Valley region. The grape produced in this area are Cabernet Sauvignon. Merlot, Shiraz, Chardonnay, and Semino. The famous wines are the Brook Winery Regional Vineyard, which is made from Vineyard Grape, and the Brook Winery Estate Shiraz. This one is white wine, and this one is the red wine. And the next is Great, South Great Southern. Uh, it is the coolest Western Australia's viticultural areas. Uh, if it's cool, then it is uh, located in the, at the southern part of Western Australia. And then the climate itself is a maritime influence Mediterranean, so it's in the middle of the hot and the cold temperature. Uh, the grapes produced in this area are Riesling, Pinot Noir as the specialties, while the others are Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, and Chardonnay. Uh, it produces the earthy, spiced, and spiced cherry and peppery Shiraz taste. The famous wines are Ho Howard Park Riesling, the white wine, and the Plantain. Plantagenic, Cabernet Sauvignon, the white wine, the red wine, sorry. And then the next one is the Margaret River. It is the most famous wine region in uh, Western Australia. 
because of the unusual mixture of the Greek taste on one wine. Example, like the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is blended with Merlot, and then the Game Shiraz, the intensity, the intensity acidity for uh, Chardonnay, which comes from the citrus, and then the refreshing SSB blend. SSB itself is a Sauvignon Blanc mixed with um, semi long uh, grape. Uh, those are white, white grapes. And then the climate is heavily maritime, influenced climate, which is the winemaker's pride because it is the, the climate here is similar with one of the most famous uh, region in France, which is Bordeaux. And the climate, because the climate is similar, so it, it is uh, for sure the grape produce is has the same good quality. And then the um, the famous wine is the Mossoud Cabernet Sauvignon for the red wine. And for the white one, it's Leeward Estate Arcere Chardonnay. The next one is Geograph. The climate is maritime influenced climate, but slightly hotter and produce fruit driven wine styles. And the several wineries winning national and international awards every year. So it proves that the grape from this region is very good because they can um, they get some awards in the international judgment. And then Chardonnay is the king and the Cabernet Sauvignon as the runner-up means the Chardonnay is the first specialty, specialty tea grape which this region produced and followed by the Cabernet Sauvignon as the runner-up. And then it produced more than 10% of the Western Australia uh, grape production. The famous wines are Dragonfly SSB, as why I told you before, the Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc blend. And then the Fadlin Cup Cabernet Sauvignon and for the red wine and the Lafayette Reserve Shiraz for the red wine also. Yes, I would like to talk about Northern Territory wine region. Northern Territory have a hot climate, either very humid or very dry, depending on the location and season, make it unsuitable for quality or viticulture. Great varieties in this country is Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz. In this country only have the only small vineyard this one is the wineries and vintage cellar in Northern Territory. First one, this one the red center wine. Before that, this one only one chateau once by winery, but it's no more. The center is located in Stone Highway in near Alice Spring. This one is vintage cellar Darwin. It's offer red wine and white wine from Australia, French, New Zealand, including Champagne and Tasmania. Next, I'm going to talk about the Queensland wine region. Queensland is a region in the in the northern part of Australia, so the climate is a bit hot. But the southern part, uh, around Brisbane here, here, around here, it's uh, the where, where the area where the wine production is the is small. So the grape variety is Chardonnay, Semillon, and Syrahs, and mostly Syrahs. Because Queensland is a new wine region, uh, just started producing wine for about 10 years or so. So they just uh, currently uh, takes 1% of production among all Australia. Uh, uh, the first region is the Granite Belt. It's uh, the area around Brisbane and like it's uh, border bordering with New South Wales region because it, the climate there is more uh, cooler so they can produce wine. All of Queensland's wine uh, was produced here, 60% of them, and they mainly produce syrups. Next is South Brisbane. It's the largest growing vineyard in all of Australia actually, but because they are a new one, a new wine region, they they just uh, they don't really produce a large amount of wine. So this is one of the famous winery in Queensland area. It's called Balandia, and all the others are. Their Andalas Estate, Bunga Ridge Winery, Deer Wind, Dusty Hill, Crane Wines, and Conflicts. Next is South Australian Wine Region. 
In this uh, Australia have 44% of nation finance responsible for 47 of annual crust make 48% of the annual white output. By the 1980s, so Australia contribution of to the national make fine vary between 58% and 65% according to the variance of vintage. And so, so Australia is responsible for more than half production of all Australia wine. Climate of this region is Mediterranean, Mediterranean climate, near coast with mild, wet, and hot, dry summer and winters. Next is I would like to tell about the wine zone in South Australia. First one is Barossa zone. Barossa zone have Barossa Valley and Eden Valley. For Barossa Valley, it hot, have a hot climate and have more than 150 wineries. For the Eden Valley, have good cool climate and suitable for the production of high quality riesling. This one, the one export for Barossa Valley. The total export is. 86.6 million dollar. This one is Florio Zone. Florio Zone is have McLaren Valley and Langhorn Creek. For McLaren Valley, have warm climate and have this diversity of production: Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. This one is Langhorn Creek. This one has warm to hot climate. In, in this region, have warm to hot climate and the third largest grape growing region in South Australia. Third is limestone coast zone. Have a uh, two region, Konawara and Patoe. For Konawara, is known for the Cabernet Sauvignon grown in its terra rosa soil. In Patoe, have good maritime climate and first established as a viticultural area in 1960s. Now I would like to talk about wine export in Australia for December 2017. The total export is 2.56 billion dollars and the top five export variety is Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, or capsule, charone and melot. Australia wine account for 45% of the Malaysia market share between 2013 and 2015. The value of Australia wine export to Malaysia rose 56% to more than 54 million Australian dollar, maintaining its lead in supplying the market ahead of France, Chile, and Italy. This one the top 10 geographical indication region by average value per liter. First is Barossa Valley, second is Konawara, McLaren Valley, Margaret River, Clark Valley, Adelaide Hills, Longhorn Creek, South Australia, Limestone Coast, and the last is Victoria. This is the Tasmanian wide region. It is the southmost region of Australia. Tasmania first uh, produced wine at the year 1848, but it is uh, more flourish not until 1950s. The climate in Tasmania region is a moderate relative climate with a cool, uh, cool climate because it is closer to the South Pole, and uh, that's why the the people. The wine experts there uh, thought that it's too cold to plant grapes, but Tasmania proved themselves because they today they produce many wines. So this is the famous wineries in Tasmania. It's the Devil's Corner, Salador, and Lookout. It's the Canal Viana, Viana wines, close to Pioneer, Moose Hills. They all fire swipe and
and the famous wine region. Here, Northwest Tamar Valley, Northeast East Coast, Fall River Valley, Derwent Valley, and Puan Channel. But the more the most production comes from Tamar Valley, which is approximately 40 percent of wine came from Tamar Valley. Second is uh, East Coast, which is 20 percent, Northeast, and then all the other all the other wines. Uh, for this for this region, the most suitable climate for the grapes are Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. Pinot Noir holds the 40 44 percent of uh, grape production, wine grape production. Chardonnay 23 percent and Sauvignon Blanc 12 percent. The uh, they also use Pinot Gris, Riesling, and other variety of grapes. 